Hello YouTube, I just mounted this motor driver rear and I will now attempt to mill some stainless steel sheet for mounting this little one up here and after that I will try to come up with something for mounting this one I would like to be able to change the RPM simply by turning a wheel Not too good of a finish here, but I believe that it will work. And I learned a lot only by milling this little one out. So next time I will do it much better. So the finish wasn't actually too bad after I filed off some chips that were stuck. And the uh, dimension here of the hole was just perfect. So that's nice. You can see here that I milled a bit too far up here and down to the left but uh, that doesn't matter really since this one here will will cover cover it up so now i need to figure out a way to remove this one again and try to bend it 90 degrees so let's see how that goes i just took a hammer and punched a lot of times here until it was bent and not super precision perhaps but I'm sure it will do so that's the sound we want to hear So I'm thinking that I will have this one up here. We'll have to remove this one. So I now mounted this little sheet here with two screws and we'll now try and insert the cable here with, with one hand. That ain't super easy always. I think that that will have to do I think looks a bit tilted though I guess it's a home built mill well, now, it, now it looks a bit better all right then so now this one is mounted so next thing to attack seem to be this one so let's try and come up with something all right so and i've been doing some thinking and I almost invented this one here that i later discovered was included and i had on the shelf so good that i found this one I think that it will be some aluminium milling now. So now chop this peat off and I can tell you a funny thing and that is that this surface here was my first test mill or my first CNC milling ever and I don't know how I managed to achieve this surface here. Looks like not good this one here looks a bit better
stably arranged, super good, it's moving around a lot, so... I feel that time moving ain't good. It grabs the table a bit too much, I think. Let's see how the, the finish looks. Not super good. Let's try conventional building. See if it gets any better. So now chop this one off a bit and the plan is to drill a smaller hole into this threaded rod here and stick it in there and then attach the spring here so that it will be spring loaded and then simply moving this one by turning a hand wheel that's the plan so now I need to drill a straight hole down into this one so that would be interesting all right, let's give it a try then. Five millimeters is the ID. That's hot. It did, uh, really pretty good actually. Perhaps I should keep on going in case uh, it's a little harden or something like that. Seems to be a lot of smoke anyways. There we go, I was just about to abort the drilling. Smells kind of strange. I want to give up, so let's try a drill a small hole first with one of those cobalt drills that I have. These ones are very cheap. Are we making a hole or what is happening? I think we're making a hole. Let's just keep on going. Just digs in. Let's see how deep we can drill. RPM is only 500. Seems to be working very, very good. That will do. So let's change over to a larger drill.
So I now mounted it and I loosened the plastic cover here and mounted it with two screws beneath the plastic cover and it works just like like it should it's very nice to be able to to set the speed by just turning a knob here and I choose this little lead screw that I had with a very small pitch and the only issue the only issue I have right now is that uh, this tachometer here is fluctuating a lot and I believe that uh, it's not showing the correct value so I would have to adjust this one a bit so that it will be positioned a bit better but anyways that will be a project for the future mounted a small shaft coupling here just to have something to to turn I will try and make some nice turning wheel here in the future and some type of cover here as well <laughs> 